Trap more gang. Today, I'm gonna drop a bag. Honestly, I'm actually gonna drop a bag. I don't usually drop bags. I don't usually spend money. You've seen me buying fake chains off of eBay. You've seen me messing around with, you know, some stupid bit of wrapper merch here, little t-shirt merch there. And look, okay, I'm not made of money. I don't really like to flaunt money. I do okay for myself. I've got no complaints, but I don't really spend money. I don't like to blow money. I just like to look after myself, look after my family and do my God darn thing. But today, people, I'm gonna drop back. I'm actually going to drop back for you. Oh, it's going to be crazy. This is something I've wanted to do for quite a while, actually. So this whole NFT craze that's been going on, I've got absolutely zero interest in taking part in any of this NFT nonsense. It seems like a whole bunch of scammery. I think maybe someday something will emerge where I'll feel like, oh, that's actually a good application of NFTs. That's interesting. You know, the digital art is cool. I think the crypto punks are actually cool. That's probably the singular only NFT project that I think is interesting and actually good because it seems like a genuine art project that's like iconic crypto punks are now cemented as the one, the only, I'll take these headphones out, God damn it. as the one, the only OG crypto NFT art project. So I've got respect for the crypto punks. Maybe a few more things will emerge like that. I don't have respect for a lot of the other fake stuff, but, and it's a big old BBL, but I see these Logan Pauls collecting their Pokemon cards. I see copies of Super Mario Brothers selling for a million dollars. And I think to myself, well, I don't want any of that old tat in my house. I think that stuff's garbage. But what's the one thing, the one area of expertise your boy has over everybody else in the game. Hell the world. Hip hop. Okay, now I've got a little bit of spare cash knocking around, okay? And that's all thanks to you guys. That's all thanks to the supporters. That's all thanks to the Trap Law, the Trap More, and the Trap Live gang putting in work, viewing, subscribing, liking, watching through the entire ad when it gets played, the whole pre-roll, so your boy gets a little bag. And today, for the first time, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow some of that money on some hip-hop memorabilia. That's right, I'm gonna buy myself some rare hip-hop items. I'm gonna blow a bag, and I'm gonna deck. I've been trying to redecorate the studio for ages, frankly, okay? You might not be able to see this, okay? But this is the studio. This is actually a signed Kanye West. Uh, fuck, I'm just gonna go pick it up. This is actually a signed uh, signed Kanye West photograph, an authentic, apparently authentic, uh, authentic yay. It's got a little little certificate popping off. This was given to me as a gift after I basically like left my old business. So more or less, like a little while after I um, was sort of leaving my old business to go full time in YouTube. This means a lot to me and the, the absolute legends that gave this to me always have a special place in my heart. Also on the hip hop wall of fame, we have a signed photograph of Raekwon the chef from the Wu-Tang Clan. Now I, I was a kid, okay? My older brother went to go and see the Wu-Tang Clan at some show in England. Maybe it was in the, I don't know. We grew up in Bognor, it might've been in Brighton. I don't know, the Wu-Tang knocking around and apparently Raekwon the chef was there signing stuff selling autographs something like that so he picked me up this signed Raekwon picture and I've kept hold of it forever and you know kept it on my mantelpiece now there's a few other pieces of hip-hop memorabilia up here that aren't quite as aren't quite as exciting you might be able to see just above my head just there that's the entire raucous records collection one of those is the Eminem any man like 12 inch single this was from like the old hip-hop label raucous records I don't even know the full story about this whole thing I just remember as a kid when I was growing up my old the brothers who got basically got me into hip-hop like they were they were all about it they were into the rap game for some reason they had like two editions of this raucous records you put them all together they create like a little multi-colored chain of classic hip-hop hits and i always wanted to own the whole collection and put them all on display in a whole line so again once i got this little space once i got this room to do my videos in i, I caught those off of ebay and threw them up there these two things th these are just sh targets from a gun range when i went to la shot up a gun range shot up the club and all that good stuff this is like a cardboard sign from 1000, another great artistic YouTuber who uh, sent me a package, sent me a set of custom Jordans and he decorated the outside of the box and like I just kept this on my wall. I think of it as kind of bando chic. I got my YouTube subscriber plaque for Trap Law Ross. That's a letter from Susan. Anyway, long story short, right? I need more stuff. The wall's kind of bare. Look at these empty sides. There's nothing going on there. So I'm going to buy some hip hop autographs, some hip hop memorabilia, some rare hip hop items. I want to try and decorate the room a little bit more. Soon I'm going to buy a neon sign as well, but that's another video. So the plan is we are going to scour eBay looking for the most fire and rare hip hop items and I'm going to put them all on display in my studio where I make my videos and we're going to turn this space into the goddamn trap law hip hop history museum of memorabilia baby it's going to be crazy so here's the plan we're going to take to eBay I'm going to look up some of my favorite rappers some of my favorite hip hop 
quotable search terms, bits of info, just in the hopes that I can just try and find some interesting things from eBay that we can add to the Trap Law Museum, people. I am gas is gonna be lit. So I think the best place to start, let's search a few famous rappers' names and see what comes up as the most expensive and rare items. And of course, what better place to start than my favorite rapper of our time, Lil Wheezy, Lil Wayne. Here's the trick, we're gonna sort by highest price and see what the most expensive Lil Wayne stuff is. And I, listen, people, okay? I'm gonna drop a bag, but also I'm not dumb. I'm not gonna spend ridiculous amounts. And look, here we go, For, here we go, okay? Lil Wayne, the Carter Three double album official plaque. $10,000! I ain't trying to spend $10,000 as much as I would like this because the Carter Three is my favorite album of all time. I ain't spending 10 racks. That is, I would love to have a Lil Wayne Carter Three. So there's actually a double platinum plaque, two million copies sold, awarded to Brandon Grant. Who the fuck is Brandon Grant? Brandon Grant's on hard times because he's selling his plaque for 10 Gs. I can't even find him, it doesn't matter. But anyway, look, we're not about to spend 10 Gs, but I do want to get something that's Carter Three related. So I'm hoping there's something a little bit cheaper, a little bit more in my price range. Look at here, we've got the Carter a two album signed autographed certified now that's good four and a half grand not really not really hitting for me oh, i swear there was a signed carter three for like cheap brah i look i did this a while back and there was definitely a copy of the carter three si oh there it is there it is it's legit the carter three two album now okay i saw this a little while ago five hundred dollars five ninety nine five nine nine that's kind of within the within the range that i'm looking at okay it's apparently it's certified it's a full copy of my favorite album of all time the carter three now I will say, I will say people, I'm on my storage board shit. It's a little bit beaten up. I can see there's a crease in the corner. It's got a few creases. It hasn't necessarily been looked after, but does that matter? I mean, I'm not spending four grand, so it does actually. I might have to cop. What else we got? Just regular Lil Wayne autographs. You see, you'd rather have the autograph copy of the Carter 3 on vinyl, right? I mean, I need a copy of the Carter 3 on vinyl anyway. Also, while we're here, there's usually two records. There's a record, usually a record there and a record there. One of them was a copy of Illmatic. Another was kind of interchangeable. I would change them around quite frequently. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the hot weather in the summer, but they've been falling off. I can't get them to stay on the wall and I don't want to like nail them in. So I need new records. I've got spots for records. They got the Lil Wayne guitar. As I might have to get the Lil Wayne guitar, you know, I might have. Because here's the thing, right? These are from reputable memorabilia sellers as well. 100% positive feedback, a thousand reviews, 4,000 reviews, 100% positive feedback. I I'll be honest. I don't necessarily like a lot of the music associated with this era of Wayne's career, but Rebirth, when he was on his rock and roll shit, and look, he's got a guitar there. It's a white on the outside and black in the middle. It's like the opposite color of this one, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm tempted to get the Lil Wayne guitar. I'm gonna keep it on the short list. 800 bucks. And it's gonna cost me 200 bucks to ship it to the UK. That is so peak. God damn. This is the style of guitar that he has on the cover of the project, which is kind of important, right? Is that the same style? It'd be looking similar. This one, the real one's got like a different vibe. I don't know shit about guitars, but it's got a different vibe on the end. Bruh, a signed guitar is a signed guitar. Like what? I don't need to spend that much. Why is the Carter II so much more expensive? I mean, I know the Carter, this is beaten up as well. This is, you can tell this has got creases on it and shit. Let's keep searching. Cause maybe we'll find a copy of, uh, if I can find a copy of Rebirth that's that's signed or even just something Rebirth related, man. Is this signed by Wayne and T-Pain. We got, we got a picture. We're just looking at pictures that rappers have signed. But this one, this is signed by Lil Wayne and T-Pain. That's quite a combo. And look, here's him signing it. So you know it's legit with his little truck fit on. So what's the most expensive Rebirth merch? Because if we could somehow combine a Rebirth CD, Rebirth promo poster. I could buy an original Rebirth promo poster and combine it with the, the guitar and put it into like a sick display case. Now that would be next level, but it's all a bit expensive. So I don't know. We'll put it on the short list, but I gotta say, I think I might have to cop the Lil Wayne double LP because that is crazy. So let's look up another rapper and see what kind of memorabilia we can get for them. So I'm not sure I'm gonna find anything or be able to afford anything. Let's look at Drake. An autographed Drake drum head. That's kind of whack. It's gotta be, it's gotta be like his LP or his album. I see a lot of other shit here like that's not even Drake, but like signed photos, cool, but I don't want to pay hundreds and hundreds for a signed photo. Like, come on. I want the signed Adonis pregnancy test. H how, how am I going to cop that? You can just get a photo of Drake signed, but that's, that's kind of boring, unless that's all you can get. <laughs> you can get a copy of Pop Stars, not signed by Drake, but signed by DJ Khaled. That's not going to be worth anything. Now, Drake's a non starter, but let's just see Drake. Signed copy of Take Care, that's kind of interesting. But what Drake album would you want signed? I probably wouldn't want Take Care, I'd probably want one of the other ones, I don't know. I'm not blown away by the Drake memorabilia, frankly. I'm not blown away by the Drake memorabilia. Let's see who else we got. All right, here's one I wanted to look up. So 
left. Once again, all right, once again, I'm going to look up Jay-Z. I feel like I'm going to be ready for disappointment because whatever they have for Jay-Z is probably going to be pricey. Wait a minute. Jay-Z, Volume 2, Hard Knock Life, signed by Def Jam. They even put Hover in the description. That's when you know it's legit. They got a certificate, though. If it ain't got a certificate, I don't even know if the certification process for autographs is legit, but if it ain't got a certificate, there ain't no point, man. This could be anything. This guy could have just done this in Sharpie by himself. I'm not I'm not convinced. I did see quite a long time ago a Jay-Z signed microphone on here, but sadly, I think I think that has been snapped up. Okay, so look, here we go. I ain't paying four grand. I ain't paying four bags, but they got a signed copy of Jay-Z, the dynasty. He's even put peace on there with an exclamation mark, the Beckett letter of authenticity. So you know this thing is certy, baby. This thing is legit. Four grand though, bro. I need to start a dynasty myself before I can afford this shit. That's lit though. What else we got? See, this is bullshit, right? This says Jay-Z, the blueprint signed, but it ain't the blueprint signed. This is just a fucking front cover copy of the blueprint next to a signed business card. Card. That don't even look like Jay-Z. That looks like S-I-2. I don't know who S-I-2 is. I'm sure he makes impeccable diamonds, but this is cap. I don't fuck with that. That's trash. It's got to be the album, man. It's got to be the blueprint one album on vinyl. Wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. Is this signed or is this just a rock random Rockefeller jersey? The original S Carter Rockefeller jersey. If it was signed, I'd fuck with it, but ain't really popping like that, you know? They got Jay-Z signed baseball, but Jay-Z's not a baseball player. So like, why would I cop? Why would I do that? <laughs> okay, okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking because I can buy this and I'm trolling on this as well. This is a genuine signed and certified copy <laughs> of R. Kelly and Jay-Z's unfinished business. I might have to cop this. It's 750 bucks. Am I really going to spend 750 bucks to troll Jay-Z? I mean, that's thoughtless. But because Jay-Z's never going to sign a copy of his R. Kelly collab album again, is he? Is this guy a trustworthy seller? 299 feedbacks, but they're all positive. I maybe, maybe. Wow, they got Danger Mouse the Grey album on CD. Is this legit? Is this, a, is this just burnt off or is this a legit copy, man? That's crazy if they got that. All my real, all my real Jay-Z fans, all my real hip-hop fans know what this is about. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, it's looking kind of dead out here for the Jay-Z memorabilia. I'm not going to lie. It's looking kind of dead. Come on, man. Give me a signed LP, surely. Ain't no signed LPs out here. Nah, that's dead. So Jay-Z merch ain't popping. Oh my God, no way. Okay, this isn't a strictly hip-hop piece of merch, but this is something that's very dear to me and sort of the gaming side of what I do. You've seen me stream games. You've seen me. I do. I did a little breakdown of all the music in GTA San Andreas. I'm a GTA fanatic, and frankly, my love for GTA and my love for hip-hop are intertwined because it was always the soundtrack of GTA that got me into a lot of artists. I remember GTA 3. I was obsessed with that game. Game radio, all the game records artists on there, just straight fire. That was getting me into all sorts of early weird hip-hop. Sean Price. All these kinds of Royster 5 9 when I was way too young. I shouldn't have been playing that game. I definitely shouldn't have been listening to Sean Price. But anyway, that GTA Vice City Wild Style learned about 80s hip hop. And then San Andreas, my God, San Andreas had some of the most fire shit in it. So I might have to get some GTA, uh, some GTA memorabilia. Let's have a look. So this is an item that I've I've been looking for basically my entire life. Okay, when GTA 4 came out, there was a competition. You may you may or may not have heard of this. Rockstar Games, the bunch of lying scumbags that never want to release fucking games now. They basically put out a competition that for the, anybody that completed GTA 4 100%, all missions, all side quests, all hidden pigeons, within the first two weeks of the game, you would be given, you would be gifted one of these beautiful keys to the city, a piece of gaming memorabilia, a literal key to the city. That was also the name of the achievement for 100% in GTA. And they were supposed to send you a physical key as a collectible. Here's one. $1,500, bro. A key, original GTA key to the city. Now, I don't know why these fuckers... Basically, Rockstar Games, just like when they're talking about releasing games these days, were straight cap. They never responded to my requests. I filed all the paperwork. I did the application. I had the achievement. My game was online. Xbox Live connected, completed. They wouldn't send me the fucking key. They never responded. They ignored all my messages. I followed up. Fucking bunch of scumbags. But I've always wanted this key. Give me the key. 1500 bucks, right? But is there a cheap one? Somebody selling one of these shits. There's one here, look, 800 euros. They're selling the original GTA key to the city. I've always wanted this thing. This has been something I've looked forward to that I've wanted my entire life. Is this a trustworthy seller? He's only got 15 feedback. But at the same time, there's not really going to be a fake version of this knocking around. I might have to cop. I mean, that looks fuego. It looks dirty. This is one that I watched a while ago that ended. And this one, he's, he's gone in a bit more detail. He's got like a few stickers and shit with it. Well, let's just compare and just, just try and see if it's if there's any difference. Because I don't want to buy a fake key to the city. I mean, I don't know who would manufacture a fucking fake key to the city. I mean, what a waste of time. It looks pretty legit. 
Does that look exactly the same as the thousand dollar one? Looks the same, looks the same to me. It looks dirty, looks legit. This one comes with some stickers. The box looks the same. Might have to cop, might have to cop. All right, guys, let's try something a little bit more modern, okay? Let's have a look, because part of the reason I want to buy some hip-hop memorabilia, not just because I want to turn my space into the goddamn Trap Law Museum, but also because I'm kind of thinking, if I buy something on an artist that's big now, God forbid that artist passes away. I don't want an artist to pass away. But let's say they do, or let's say they just continue killing it at the top level of the game for the next 10 years, the value of that memorabilia is going to go up, surely. So why don't we have a look at some of the sort of young goats in the game, see if there's any memorabilia. There might not be because they're so early in their career. But let's just have a look, okay? Let's go the current goat, Lil Baby. Okay, let's see what Lil Baby's up to. Lil Baby autographed copy of the bigger picture. And there's a few of these, but I gotta say, surely the prize is the Lil Baby album, my turn, autographed vinyl. Okay, 500 bucks. This is coming in the same price as the Lil Wayne Carter 3, but are we getting an incredible deal? Because Lil Baby is the future Lil Wayne, right? He's all over it. Surely this is, this is gonna be the future asset that people are gonna be rocking with. I mean, this is the classic Lil Baby album that everybody loves. Might have to cop. Might have to cop. And this is from a this is from a store called ATL Graph. So what is this? All graphs of all the hot Atlanta rappers? Let's see. They've got no negative reviews. They got two neutral. This guy says authentication is a very questionable. PSA sticker is not the one that PSA gives out. They did cancel my order the second I asked after doing a bit more research. That is why I'm giving them a neutral rating. <laughs> That's a little bit sus, but then there's no negative ratings and, you know, there's plenty positive ratings on stuff that's fairly valuable. Steph Curry autograph, all this type of shit. So, I don't know. I don't know. What else they got in the store? I'm not super into sports like that, but this looks legit. They got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar jersey. They're selling that Lil Baby autograph ting. They got Travis Scott Astro World vinyl. Ooh, we're gonna have to have a look at that, aren't we? Ooh! Got Amigos autograph. It's looking lit. It's looking lit. I gotta get something from the Amigos, surely. Ooh! Autographed Quavo Lil Pop figure. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's not an iconic enough item to spend money on, but it's kind of cool. Future Hendrix. Let's see what Future's got in stock, man. NLE Chopper. All the legends, bro, but just like sign pictures and shit. If we could get, a, if we get a rapper that's already deceased, we're winning. <laughs> we're getting into the dregs now. They got Bryce Hall autograph. These are getting boring now. Let's look for something more interesting. So the Lil Baby My Turn LP. That's got to go on the short list. That's super interesting. Okay. Travis Scott. Astro World signed LP, that's kind of vibes. How comes this copy of the bigger picture on vinyl is, is so much cheaper? What's that all about? This says they got proof, but also it's not authenticated, so I'm not loving that. We've got Gunner Drip Harder, Lil Baby Drip Harder. Why couldn't they have both signed it, man? We've got a copy of the bigger picture here, signed. Comes with a COA from Beckett. And these guys have got better reviews, so I'm, I'm more inclined to get the bigger picture, frankly. Who else? Let, let's look up someone else. Let's see Trippy Red. He means a lot to me. Trippy Red. Hopefully it's a bit cheaper as well, frankly. God, 500 bucks, man. You can't be charging Lil Wayne Carter 3 money for Trippy Red. Like, Trippy Red in some ways is a dollar store Lil Wheezy. And you know what I'm saying? You can't be charging full store price for that shit, okay? What's the best Trippy Red project? Life's a trip. Love Letter to You 3. That probably is the best one to get frankly. So these are the best we're gonna do. These Life's a Trip and this Love Letter to You 3. I just don't know. I just don't know. I'm not, I don't know if I'm convinced. I don't know if I'm convinced. That one's got a massive crease on it. That's peak. And then, what's this one saying? Love Letter to You 3. That is the better project. We've got 788 reviews. They've sold a lot of signed stuff for good money. People are pretty happy, so they seem pretty happy. Has it got a cert certification? No certification on it. Rah! It's an L. We're not buying trippy merch. It's not happening. It's not happening. What else? Let's have a little look-see. Uh, our boy, Bix9, okay? We've got to find some Fire 6 9 merch. Okay, here we go, here we go. We've got signed photos. Now, I like this, okay? And I know I'm talking shit about signed photographs because it's not the actual item, but this is an authenticated signed picture of 6 9 as a blood. He's surrounded by the goons. He's got the blood bandana on. Not that 6 9 is deceased, but the blood gang 6 9 is indeed deceased. So this is actually quite special. Are they reputable? GS memorabilia, they got 2,000 pieces of feedback, 100% positive no l's zero l gang i'm interested in this the real deal authenticated but it's 899 bucks for a signed 69 pick i mean god damn okay day 69 autograph vinyl i'm into that i feel like the autographed vinyl is just better you know what i mean it's more interesting is this certified got jsa certification I don't like the album though. I'd probably rather have a picture of him as a blood and it's not even a big picture. Dummy Boy signed. That's more of an iconic album. 3,000 reviews, all positive. Is it certified? Is it cert? Well, I mean, that's what they, that, that's not really enough, but maybe it is. It's got a QR code and everything. I like that. <laughs> 
They've even put in the title to try and get the SEO pop in Witness. <laughs> 6 9 signed album, Dummy Boy, album vinyl record, Witness. Is that saying they witnessed him sign it or is that just saying he is a witness? I like that a lot actually, I'm into that. That is iconic and it's the vinyl. This is a cheaper photo of him with the goons. Signed microphone, it's kind of whack though. Signed shoe, these shoes are terrible, baseball. I'm tempted by the signed 6 9 baseball bat purely because he would fucking smack, he would smash up your house with this, you know what I mean? He'd smash up the ops with this. But when has 6 9 ever been known to have a baseball bat? Like it's not part of the 6 9 law. The album is, him rolling with the bloods is. But there's a lot of signed 6 9 shit knocking around. I mean, you get the signed trolls vinyl. Eh. More photographs. Signed jersey. I'm kind of interested in that. I'm kind of interested in the jersey because that's more to get framed. You get 6 9 you get the signed jersey framed and that's kind of lit and it's got authentication and shit. That's kind of vibes. These guys have got 22,000 pieces of feedback. But 99.3, they've got a few negatives. Let's see, let's see what the op's been saying. I tried to purchase the ball at 168. Counter offer kept giving me 189. I purchased, the ball hasn't been arrived. It hasn't been shipped. That's not a good look. This guy says his Mike Tyson photo was bent and creased. It wasn't the right size. Didn't receive the item he paid for. Not the ball represented. Item with broken glass. I have a feeling this sold back in November. <laughs> okay, I don't like the look of these guys. Fuck that. I'm not going to buy this. Fuck them. It's got to be the record, man. I've got to buy the vinyl record. I want a signed copy of Tattletales, but I don't think I'm going to find it. Apparently for only 20 bucks, I can get a 6 9 and Nicki Minaj signed fucking CD. I don't know if I believe it, and I also don't think that this is certified, so fuck that. Okay, let's take a look at the Migos then, all right? Let's see what the Migo gang been saying. So, Migos, so we got signed copies of Culture 2. Is that really the Migos album you want signed? They got Culture 1 signed. It's only signed by Quavo. We need one signed by everyone. All right, so look, you can get Culture 2 signed by all three of the Migos. That's pretty lit. I just don't think I want a signed copy of Culture 2. Is that bad? Like, Culture, I'm not that into Culture 2. I need either Culture 3 or Culture 1. This is a signed copy copy of cult a picture of culture three only signed by quavo quavo's working the wrist man he's signing more stuff than everyone by the looks of it quavo signed copy quavo quavo oh shit allow the migos gucci main signed copy of everybody looking vinyl with certificate and they got somewhat good feedback Okay, let's see what else we got Gucci Mane. What's the most expensive Gucci Mane thing we could find, baby? Okay, they got the Gucci Mane Supreme t-shirt, but it's not signed. It's just the rare Gucci Mane t-shirt. That's kind of lit. Okay, everybody looking signed. We just saw that for less money. Signed back to the Trap House CD. That's more like it, okay? Oh shit, they got autographed Poo Shiesty photo. That's rare, because if he never gets out of jail, that's going to be worth something. I might have to buy the autographed Poo Shiesty thing, you know? What else? We need some Gucci, though. We need some classic Gooch. Signed Gucci Mane picture. <laughs> Rich homie Quan signed microphone. 50 bucks. It's a bargain, really. We get Gucci's book. Signed copy of Gucci's book. Where's that at? I don't think we're going to see anything else good. Gucci main back to the trap house signed CD. That is lit. Autograph obtained by me in person. Mm. <laughs> I might have to cop. That is fucking funny. Brr. And it's authenticated. Sosa graphs. Don't tell me that this guy is just doing Chief Keef type autographs. Don't tell me that. Quavo, Weekend. Is this another guy saying he did it? He got it signed himself in person? He's got certificates, to be fair. Seems like bullshit, but I don't know. What's the best Pooh Shiesty merch we can get? Oh my god. Nah. They got Lil Durk and Pooh Shiesty signed back in blood poster. That is mad. Is it, is it certified? And they're a good... <sighs> That's expensive, but I might have to cop because that was a moment. Lil Durk even added 300 to his signature. He's on gang business. Fuck, man. I might have to cop. I might have to cop. That's crazy. What other Lil Durk shit? That's the Lil Durk we want, though. Shiesty season, man. 87 bucks. Ultimate Graphers. This is a little bit more. It's their own guarantee. Not feeling that. Thing is, yeah. All right. Here's the thing. I know it's a lot of money to spend. But if I get the certified Pooh Shiesty picture signed of him wearing the shirt, I could get it framed with the shirt, the shirt that he ripped me off on, man. Is that a legit, are they certified? Got a few bad reviews though. Got a few bad reviews. Damaged item, could be worse. This one's a vibe, it says brr. <laughs> can you look up a, jet, a PSA certificate of authenticity? How trusted is the PSA? I don't even know. You can actually look it up. All right, let's look it up. Let's look it up. AJ. Two, three, three, six, two. Poo shiesty. Authentic. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. I'm gonna have to cop. Shit, man. Okay, let's see if there's any other Lil Dirk shit. It's only a photograph, but it's assigned the voice. Laugh now, cry later. Where's the album, though? We need a vinyl, man. We need some signed vinyl. Remember my name? Signed vinyl LP. That's interesting, but it's not the one I'd go for. Cash out. Nah. The Dirk and shiesty one's the most interesting, you know? Who else can we search, man? Who else should we search up? 
get a frame photo of Ricky Rose the Baus, okay? Mastermind album. Thing is, I'm not gonna spend the money unless the album actually means something to me. I'm not just gonna buy some random B Rick Ross album that doesn't act like I don't give a shit about, you know what I mean? It's gotta be legit. So I ain't trying to buy that shit. It needs to be his first album or it needs to be something of significance, you know what I mean? God forgives I don't. Port of Miami 2. Eh. I need a brick of dope that the real Rick Ross has signed, you know what I'm saying? None of this shit. Oh shit! The first album, Port Miami, signed. It's only a hundred bucks, what? Always legit graphs, they got good feedback. It's certified, it's the vinyl, it's the first album. Fuck it, that's going on the list. Hell yeah, fucks with that. All right, fucks with that, big time. Ricky Rose, the boss. Who else should we look up? Kanye. These are gonna be expensive. You know the Kanye shit's gonna be pricey. They got the sneaks. Donda, you get the Donda poster already. Already seven grand. <laughs> seven bags, you're joking, you're joking. $10,000. Fuck, I ain't paying that. This guy's only got two feedback. You know it ain't popping. You know he ain't selling any of those. Oh, four thousand dollars. Four thousand pounds. That'll be like six. That'll be like mad euros. The college dropout, JSA certified, signed LP. Now I would fuck with that, but that's too expensive. That's way out of my budget. That's lit though. Got some of the original Yeezys. We've got the Kanye Louis Vuitton shoes. Virgil punching the air when he heard about that happening. Bro, this is the biggest heartbreak of all. So when I was a teenager, I actually had the original Air Yeezy ones. I bought them for three hundred pounds. I sold them for like 350. I thought I was balling. This is before sneaker hype beast culture was even a thing. And now they're going for three grand. I would actually buy a set, but I fucking can't be spending that. I can't be spending, I haven't even got my size, so. Kanye signed guitar. I mean, come on, man. Who's buying some of this shit? Kids see Ghost signed 1500. Fucking hell, man. They got, they got to have a little light something for 500, man. Give me a little 500, something good. Life of Pablo. 729 autographed LP, that's kind of vibes. I need college dropout, bro. I need the OG. 808s and Heartbreak signed vinyl, that's interesting. Oh shit, hang on. College Dropout, signed, certified. I am great authentics, it's 800 bucks. Bruh, is that him signing it? <laughs> Bruh, why would I spend four bags on this when my man has got it cheap? We've got the Kanye Jazz, but fucking hell. Cruel Summer, 808s. Autographed Grammy Award plaque esque. Oh, I've seen this. That's not actually anything of, of note. Got another cheaper autographed one. What? Getting cheaper and cheaper. It's just, it's got to be the college dropout album. It's got to be the early Kanye. I mean, come on. Like, let's not fuck around. Like, the new stuff ain't hitting. 280. It's got some creases. Do I care, though? I don't really care. They've done their own certification. That's bullshit. You know it's bullshit doing their own certification. I certify this is true. I saw Ye sign this. I think. Fuck that. This is 799 bucks. 799 bucks, less good feedback. 500 bucks, signed, JSA, Hollywood memorabilia. I got a pick of the certificate? Mm, don't know if I trust it without the pick of the certificate. Why Why not send the certificate picture? Now, so this is the one, the legit, with the certificate and everything, 583. So you're telling me, right, I can get that for 583. Meanwhile, this motherfucker, maybe the JSA certificate is more certy, but like, this motherfucker, it's got a few creases on it. It's going up for 5,000 euros. He hasn't even got as good feedback, bruh. Fuck that shit. Nah, cat, cat. All right, so we're gonna look up Fooly from the six. I can't believe they've got Fulio autographs, frankly. I can't believe that's a thing. So I need a picture of Fulio looking like a goddamn fool. So they got him, signed picture here with him with Aiden Ross. Unless him and Aiden have both signed the picture, I ain't interested to be honest, but. Look, they got signed pictures of him at Melvin Park. That is wild. <laughs> I might have to cough a signed picture of Fulio on the op block, bro. That's nuts. He has si a signed picture of him on the op block. And they've not got that many feedbacks, but I look them up and they've got photographs of them with Fulio signing shit. They've also got, um, they've just got other stuff that makes it seem like they're certy and they're actually out here doing this. So I've already looked up. There's no Pop Smoke memorabilia, unfortunately. Now here's, an, here's another slightly non hip hop related item, but it sort of relates to hip hop and it definitely relates to YouTube. So this particular item, right? Only through 6 9 appearing in his vlogs have I become a massive fan of Steve Will Do It from the Nelk Boys. That guy is wild. That guy is absolutely outrageous. He's out of control. And frankly, I want a slice of the action because I think he's going to be popping for a long time or he's going to die early of alcoholism and the autograph's going to go through the moon. So I found this bad boy. Check this out. Nelk Boys signed full send jersey. It's signed by all of them. Steve will do it. Jesse, Kyle. I don't even know who the other fucking Nelk Boys are if I'm honest with you. I only know Steve but fucking hell man. They got the signed jersey. The signed jersey? Good feedback. I might have to cop that because I'm waiting for the next full send drop. It's not out. I'm going to have to get in on this action and get the Steve will do it merch. So I'm going to throw that in there because of the association with 6 ix 9 
fine. But I feel like that's everything. All right, anyway, look, those are all the things that I'm like materially interested in and excited by. So here's what we're going to do, right? I'm going to add them all to a basket. I'm going to take a look at the damage and then I'm going to decide whether or not I'm really about this life, okay? So let's chuck that in the basket. Oh, fucking hell, man. Folio at Melvin Park. Got to chuck that in the basket. Khan Yeezy, signed college dropout. Man, it's a little scuffed. Let's add it to the basket. It's, it's hip hop history. We're gonna add everything to the basket, then we're gonna see what the damage is, okay? Pooh Shiesty, brrr, add that to the basket. He's wearing the t-shirt, God damn it. The Lil Durk and Pooh Shiesty double signed, certified, back in blood poster. That is a must add to basket, quite frankly, people. What else we got? The Rick Ross certified support of Miami. It's only 124 bucks. Thing is, yeah, I'm gonna get stung because look at all the import charges, 30 bucks postage 20 they're gonna sting me but let's do it let's just total it up let's do it let's do it six nine signed dummy boy album we get the six nine blood photograph the six nine autograph day six nine vinyl i'm less interested in that do we get the blood six nine or the actual album oh that's tough let's return to that let's return to that okay the little baby my turn signed vinyl certified atl graphs 100 uh, feedback we'll add it to basket let's add it to basket oh but they got the bigger picture the bigger picture is coming better and they got better feedback let's add the bigger picture that's a bigger moment travis scott it's a big piece of hip-hop history, but I don't care about Travis Scott, so I ain't copping it. I don't give a shit. Fuck that. Right, the, <laughs> the Jay-Z R. Kelly unfinished business. Here's the thing. I want to own a piece of Jay-Z memorabilia, and there was a guy that was selling a signed Jay-Z microphone a while ago, and I'm not going to lie, I was going to cop that. And I feel like this is a bit of a booby prize because I didn't get the Jay-Z item that I truly wanted. But let's be real. I'm only wanting to buy this because it's a meme, because it's a joke, because, of, because it's R. Kelly. But it's not signed by R. Kelly as well. So I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip that one. Autograph copy of the Cart 3. This is a grail for me. I need to own this. My life, the only point of me working this hard, me doing this channel, all this shit, it's all a ruse just so that I can get a copy of the Cart 3 on vinyl signed. So that is an instant add to basket. No, no two thoughts about that. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. The guitar. <sighs> Here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. There are quite a few Lil Wayne guitars available on here. I think it would be lit if I bought the guitar, if I bought the Lil Wayne Rebirth poster and I managed to like get them all framed in one big guitar case. I think that would be lit. Thing is, I'm gonna pay 200 quid import charges. That's fucked. So this is gonna be nearly a grand. There are other ones, there's other posters. Ugh, I just don't know. I just don't know if I can add it in. GTA key to the Liberty City. Fuck, fuck yeah, add that to the basket, it's on. I'm, un I'm unsure about the Lil Wayne thing and let's be real, I've already got the cart. The cart three means more to me. Rebirth, like it was a cool moment for Wayne's career. I ain't trying to buy the Rebirth thing for a lot of money. Like I'm trying to buy the cart three for, for, for deep personal reasons, so. I'm gonna skip the rebirth for now. I could come back to that at a later date, but. And now six, nine, it's a tough choice. I've got to get one. I feel like it's more authentic. It's more interesting to get the signed picture of him as a blood. Cause this is him basically condoning that he's on some blood shit. These guys have got good feedback. The LP, they've got better feedback and it is the early six, nine LP. Here's the problem, right? Here's the issue I take with this. Six nine went to jail before this album was released. We go on the Beckett website. We'll see if it says when it was signed or when it was authenticated, and we can work out whether this went down before or after he got locked. This says that this signature was witnessed on the 23rd of June, 2021. After 6 9 got out of jail, he's gone back and signed a vinyl that came out whilst he was in jail, after he got out of jail. Now, was his picture with the Bloods signed when he was in the Bloods? That's important, so let's look that up. Once and for all. It doesn't have a date, so it says that it's an authentic signature item photograph. Doesn't have a date though. Doesn't have a date. The album or the blood. I think the blood picture is better. All right, it's just more interesting. This ain't the. If it was Tattle Tales, I'd be more into it. But this is the original Treyway album. But then this is him hanging out with a bunch of Bloods. It's got to be the Bloods. We're adding the Bloods to the basket. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared because it's going to be a lot. I'm scared of spending a lot. But then I'm also scared that it's going to be too much and I ain't even going to be able to do it. So let's see. I got a number in my head that I don't want to go over. But let's see. Oh shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, 5,000 pounds, five racks. To be honest, 5,000 was the figure I had in my head. I was thinking $5,000 if I'm honest. What's that in dollars? $7,000, fuck me, fuck me. Okay, let's do it the other way around. Okay, if I can get this under 36, it's $5,000. So what what could we get rid of here, okay? What could we get rid of? So I can't get rid of a lot of it, to be honest. Okay, okay, here's the problem, right? So look, we can cut a few things off. We've got two signed little baby things here. Who's got the best feedback? 
I don't know about these ATL graphs, guys, man. I don't know. I don't know. Is this a 100% and they've only got 300? It's going to have to be the bigger picture. So we're going to lose my turn, get rid of my turn, see if we can get it down to 3,600. Rick Ross, Pooh Iesty. We've got two Pooh Iesties in here. We're not going to get it down that much. We're going to have to cut something big. We've got to cut something big. Okay, what can we cut? What can we cut? I've got to get the shysty because I want to frame it with the shirt. I've got to, sh I've got to frame the shysty with my own shirt. So, but then the fully ah, oh, they're all significant moments in my career. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's so, they're all so good. Rick Ross. I don't really need it, but it's like the most expensive and significant things. The Takeshi thing. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. All right, I've got to get rid of one thing. If we can get it to four grand, I'll be happy. Okay, if I just spend four grand on this, I'll be a very happy boy. And trust me, this ain't a regular day for me, okay? I've been planning this. I've been saving this. I've been eating ramen for months, just trying to get my bands up, trying to get my savings up so that I can get into this shit, bruh. And you know what I'm saying? There's just things going behind the scenes. I've wanted to do this for like a year now, okay? And now we're here. What should I get rid of? I've got to get rid of something. i got to get rid of something. Ah, oh, this, this is so hard. This is so hard. This is like being asked to kill one of my children. 500 quid, what can we get off? Do I care about little baby? Do I actually give a shit about little baby enough to spend five, $500 on a little baby signed vinyl? I'm not sure I do. I'm not sure I do actually. The signed back in blood thing is legit. That's 30. Folio, the Nelk boys thing. They're pretty lit. They're pretty lit items. Bruh. What should I get rid of, man? What do I want the least? If I'm honest, I kind of don't care about Lil Baby. Uh, Lil Baby's not my top five. He's only on there because of clout, because of his reputation amongst other people. Rick Ross' first album is on there because I like him and that's a good price for him. Lil Dirk, this was a big moment and I genuinely like it. I don't like Pooh Shiesty personally because he finessed me, but I, I actually really like Pooh Shiesty's music and he's an iconic figure in hip hop. And I've got the t-shirt. This is a story. Fulio, he's played a big role in my career. Kanye, an absolute legend. And, you know, the original album. That was a big album. That's my favorite Kanye album. <sighs> We're gonna have to lose. Uh, we're gonna have to lose little baby again. Fuck it. Sorry, baby. I'll be back. I'll be back. Is it four bags? Oh, four thousand thirty-six. That includes all of the import charges, all of the other stuff. <sighs> four fucking grand on hip hop memorabilia. This is mental. This is actually mental. Should I really do this? This is fucking dumb. Fuck it. We're doing it. I'm doing it. I'm checking out. Fuck it, man. I can't believe it. I'm going to go and check out. I'm obviously going to do that off camera so I don't get my details taken. But I'm going to check out on all of these items. I'm going to update you when each of them arrives. I'll do an unboxing video for each one. If I frame it, I'll do a video for that. It's lit. So I'm going to I'm going to spin some content out of this. Hopefully I can make back some of the money that I've spent. But that is, I'm sweating, man. Four bags. Fuck me. That is a lot. I've not spent that much money on many things at all. That's more than the camera I'm recording on. That's more than my PC. That's fucking nuts, man. And it's only made possible by you guys. Seriously, you guys, the Trap Law Gang and the Trap Law Gang, you guys have really changed my life. Like where my life was when I was just starting to take off with these videos at the start of 2019. You know, I've been grinding videos since 2015, getting nowhere, you know, dabbling in all kinds of different things, dabbling in business, just a lot of different things. And to have been able to go full time making hip hop content, telling stories that I'm really passionate about, about artists, that I just love their music. It's a dream come true. I never thought it would have been able to happen. And now I'm in a position where I'm able to make a good living for myself, provide for myself, my family. It's just a blessing. So it's only made possible by you guys, you know, by you guys watching, by you guys watching the ads, watching the videos, liking, subscribing, buying merch. If you've bought merch from me in the past, you're an absolute legend. This isn't possible without you. If you subscribe to my Patreon, I'll be honest, I actually don't spend a lot of the money that comes through on Patreon. I save pretty much all of that and I'm probably gonna spend Patreon money to cover this expense. So, you know what I mean? If you're a patron and that annoys you that my money's being spent on exuberant hip hop memorabilia, you know, you can leave, you can exit the Patreon. Or if you think that's lit and, you know, if you want to ride with the gang and you're a true supporter, feel free to join the Trap Law Patreon. Link down in description. I love you guys. It is literally you guys that make this possible. And if you want to make a contribution to the Trap Law Museum, why not sign up and become a patron of the channel? You guys are legends. You guys truly make my dreams come true. And I just can't thank you enough. So you've made this possible. All of this shit, it don't even belong to me. It belongs to the patrons, frankly. The Trap Law Hip Hop Memorabilia Museum, owned by the patrons, owned, operated, and funded by the patrons of this channel. You guys are legends. I appreciate it so much. I love you guys, and I can't wait to show you this stuff when it comes out. So thank you, and peace.
one eternity later. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very, very excited because uh, because a whole bunch of these items that I ordered have turned up, people. Yes, they're actually here. They are here in the flesh. I think nearly all of them are here, apart from the GTA 4 key to the city, which ironically is probably the item that I am the most excited about. And weirdly, that's coming from the EU. Like, why is that not here? I've got all this shit come from America. The one thing I ordered from Europe isn't here, man. That's why... Uh, Forget it, man. It's gonna come soon. I'm gassed. But anyway, I feel like it's Christmas, baby. Because, like, basically, look, you you know, okay, I spent I spent a little, like, five, I spent a little five piece on a number of rare hip-hop items, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Some of these items, the signed copy of Lil Wayne's Carter 3 is, like, the holy grail of mine. I've wanted this thing my whole life, man. Like, I've always wanted this thing. Always wanted the signed copy of the Carter 3. It's lit, okay? Just all this stuff's crazy. We're gonna get to unboxing it. I'm gonna break open all the boxes now. I'll add in the missing item like at the end i'll do another recording it probably look mad janky and different but that doesn't matter because right now we're gonna get into it we're gonna open the items and i'm just gonna react to them i'm gonna give you my first hand in-person reaction i hope none of them are disappointing i hope they're all lit i'm sure they're all gonna be sick hell if if something sucks that's gonna be interesting too but i'm gassed i'm actually get i'm so excited i'm ah, gassed i'm gassed okay let's get to it let's open up some of this stuff i'm just gonna go into it try not to dox myself with my address on some of these items i've got mad mad address you know what I need you know what I need scissors I'm gonna get some skizzers up in this bit all right we're ready I got the skizzers on deck big shanks on the block you know what I'm saying I'm about to chef up some packages from eBay in this bitch it's gonna be wild so I, I don't know what each item is so each one is like a lucky dip obviously I know what I've got coming to me but my god this is crazy okay I've got to open these carefully because obviously if this is a signature if this is a signed photograph I don't want rips like a mirrors you get me I nearly just sliced into the item uh, no cap no kizzy listen spending this kind of money ain't normal for me okay I'm not trying to fuck up some of this stuff okay first item of the of the day first order of business oh my days this is crazy i can see what this is this is lit so what we have here we have the signed lil dirk and poo shiesty back in blood cover disc art thing this is crazy back in blood artwork okay signed by big big brr, okay signed by big brr himself poo shiesty the t-shirt vanessa and lil dirk 300 is signed by both of them okay this is a rare item okay this is a rare lot an exquisite item with a certificate of authenticity baby so you know that it's legit this is absolute fire man this is crazy lil dirk and big brr on the same the same signature this is nuts that is mad what a start that feels like such a beautiful exquisite rare item i didn't want to touch it fam that's crazy okay we're one for one that's lit next thing next item i don't even know what it is once again give it a snip here we go people it's just a piece of cardboard what's this gonna be oh my god Lil six he seeks himself, big foolie. Big foolio, baby. This is a this is a signed foolio signature there. Foolio, original signature, certificate on the back, baby. Straight up certificated, certified people. That is beautiful. Foolio on the op block. This is a signed picture of Foolio on the op block at Melvin Park. Foolio's sitting there signing pictures of himself on op blocks. That's how he's moving, okay? That's crazy. This is a piece of hip-hop history right here. Foolie. I'm a big fan. Right, on to a vinyl record this time. A vinyl record. This one could be interesting. This one could be a madness. It's definitely an LP. It's definitely something you can spin, you know what I'm saying? Something you can spin. I'm scared opening these things, man. I don't want to damage, don't want to damage the sauce. I need the shank. I need the chef. I need the poker. Cutting towards myself is not a good idea either, is it? Dealing bricks must be tough. You gotta package that shit up, get it over the border, unpackage it. You think this is bad? Try slanging bricks to Pablo and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh my. What? What? Signed Kanye West College Dropout LP. I've got to say, signature's leaving a bit to be desired. Kanye was feeling tired that day. He was on some squiggle shit. Look at that. That signature ain't really on shit, but this is an iconic item. The Kanye West, the OG, the original College Dropout. The album before he had turned into a douche. God damn it, people. The legit, the certy. That is crazy. Uh, I'll be honest. And, you know, this was cheaper than it should have been. Not in the best condition, okay? It's a bit busted on the top. There's a bit of a dusty, busted corner there. Yeah, corner's a little bit frayed, but the disc's looking the disc's looking hard, okay? The disc's looking hard. The classic Rockefeller record. Oh man. No like slip cases for these. 
dirty. The disc is dirty. I gotta say, the disc is mad dirty and dusty. You know what I'm saying? You know when you have, you know when you have vinyl records, it comes with the little paper cases, right? This ain't really coming with that. You know what I'm saying? It's got a few creases, but it's dirty. It's legit. It's, this is the Kanye. This is the album, bro. And then you know, little 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 seal of authenticity, so you know it's dirty. That's lit. That's legit. I like that a lot. I gotta say, so far, I'm most impressed by by Lil Durk and Big Brr, okay? That's the most impressive shit I've seen. But it's still fire. Right, it's looking like another record, people. Which one will it be? Which one will it be? This is so weird because like the the idea of me even getting these items was like such an abstract like impossibility for me for so many years. Only in like the last few months was it even like, oh shit, I could actually buy some of that stuff and like make a whole thing out of it. And it's so surreal. Like now I'm here unboxing the shits in front of me. The shits in my room. I'm looking at it. This is mad. This is mad, man. Appreciate the game because it's only made possible by you guys, your support. This is nuts. Right, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my days. People, this is the holy grail. This is the big enchilada, people. You know what it is. This is the Carter. This is my favorite album of all time, okay? This is literally my favorite album. Every track, no skips, all slaps. The Carter 3, baby. Oh! Glorious, that's beautiful. And look, Wheezy, Wheezy even made the effort on the signature, okay? It's not like some dead Kanye West signature has just done a little squiggle. He's got to run off and go and like fucking record 50 different versions of his song and do another listening party. Lil Wayne actually sat down. He wrote a few letters. He wrote a little essay on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? He probably hadn't, he hadn't been off the lean yet that day. He actually could be bothered to sign something nice. This is fire. This is the best thing I've ever owned, people. This is lit. This is in better condition than the Kanye one. It's a better signature. It's still got a few blemishes, like there's a little little crease over on the corner here, but it's actually looking better than the Kanye one. This is, this is certainty. Woo! I always just wanted a vinyl copy of the Carter 3, not even a signed one, literally. This is a mazza. And look, they even got the paper slip cases. Come on, Kanye, what are you doing, bro? Stop fucking around, Kanye, bro. Come on. Oh, you know what I'm saying? A little certificate of authenticity, baby. You know what I'm saying? This is lit. This is actually, I can't believe this shit. This is the Carter. Three Pete, baby. Bro, I'm I'm the three Pete. This is a madness. This is fucked. I didn't even know. Bro, look, I'm not going to say I've been finessed, right? But maybe this is just how it goes. But there's only eight tracks on this bitch. There's only eight tracks. It's got side one, side two, side three, side four. There's only two songs on each goddamn one. Did that? Is that how they released the Carter 3 on vinyl or have I been finessed? Is this some fake shit? Why is there only eight tracks? Where's the rest of the fire tracks? I mean, I guess it would have to be a quadruple. No, you can get more than two tracks on a fucking, on a vinyl, surely. Looks legit though. So what tracks did they choose to put on the album? Because bear in mind, I think the Carter 3 is no skips, bonus tracks, all fire, straight up, everything's good. But let's see what they picked. Because this seems to be just like the singles. So they got three Pete, they got Mr. Carter with Jay-Z, a Millie, got money. If you got money. All the slappers. Comfortable, produced by Kanye, fire, Dr. Carter, fire, phone home, fire, tie my hands. Where's Pussy Monster? Should have put Pussy Monster on this bitch, god damn it. No, it's all love though, it's all love. Fire. I've made it, people. My whole life has led up to this moment of me getting a copy of my favorite album, signed by Wheezy himself, the Lord and Savior. That's lit, I made it. I ain't got to achieve shit from now on, bro. We're done, we capped out. We topped out. The career has reached its pinnacle, people. I'm done, I'm over. I don't want to fucking make videos anymore. I just want to cuddle this. I just want to cuddle and snuggle this. That is mad. We're not gonna be able to top that. We might be able to top that, actually. We might be able to top that. Let's see, let's see what else we got. I'll tell you what, obviously they're really trying to protect these items because they're very valuable and like, you know, quite delicate, but also like they've gone in with the packaging, man. I can't get into a lot of this shit. It's a fortress. I should've got a scalpel. I could've been doing this with surgical precision, people. <laughs> I can see what this is. I can see what this is, people. You know what it is. It's mother fucking Treyway. It's Treyway, people. This is this is ridiculous. Just what I thought we couldn't top the Lil Wayne signed LP. It's my boy Takeshi69. But not just any Takeshi69 autograph photograph. Oh no, no, no. Baby, this is the blood era. This is Treyway gang shit era. Takeshi69. He's covered in the blood shit. He's surrounded by the blood. Big Treyway shit. You know, it's a big Treyway shit. This is crazy. This is beautiful, man. I can't wait to get this framed. I kind of went off topic with the framing, but what I'm going to do, yeah? I want to get the back in blood 
blood like fake platinum plaque thing popping. I want to get the folio. If I can combine that with some other stuff, that's great. If not, I'll just get that framed. But what I want to do is I want to get the records framed, not like platinum plaques, but just like the record, maybe with like the disc like poking out the side and then like the certificate and just like, I don't know, maybe just like a comment of just like my favorite album or some shit. You know what I mean? Like fucking best album ever made, Pl commemorative plaque or some shit. The Takeshi 691, I want to go a little bit differently. Now, I got to find a frame store that's going to do this for me. I don't know whether there's a certain way of going about it that's going to be good. But what I'm thinking is that if I can get this framed like on some kind of like paisley blood bandana background and what I might even do is get this framed with its certificate and then just take like all of the 6ix9ine related props that I've used over my career like the fake 6ix9ine chain, a couple of blood bandanas and just somehow like try and get it try and get it framed and arranged so that it's like the picture in a frame with like the certificate and maybe just like the 6ix9ine chain just like running under it with like a blood bandana all around the background. I don't know it's gonna be some gang shit. This is fucking fire. It's Treyway. It's, le it's legitimately Treyway. Certificate on the back and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know we bumming. People, there are only two more items that I have with me. There is one more that is coming later on at a later date. I hope it comes soon. I'll unbox that. I'll throw that in. I'll drop that in. But next up, it's another record. I know what this is, but this is finna be lit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the boss. It's the boss, Ricky Rose, the boss. That is lit, that is lit. Now, I gotta say, this is one of the cheaper items I bought. I think this was like 100 pounds, uh, between 100 and 200. It's a bit of a faded autograph, but this is the original Rick Ross Port of Miami, the first album. This is the one that started it all. This is what turned him from CO to CEO, baby. Like, this is legit. Rick Ross, the boss, Port of Miami. It's iconic, baby. Now, whether or not this is actually a good album, that's up for debate. But it does have the OG hits, such as Hustling, Hustling, Every Day I'm Hustling. Also has the lesser known, but quite good Scarface sampling. Push it to the limit. <sighs> Limit, not the original version that's good, but like the Rick Ross version where he's talking about pushing dope to the limit. You know, I'm Shan, I'm Shan. Does it have any other good songs? Damn, tell you what, right? This LP's moving like certain girls, okay? This might look good from the front, but tell you what, you flip it around, it's got back on it. Fucked corner, man, that's a fucked corner. I have to work on that shit. Straight squashed. But to be fair, when I get this bitch framed, they're gonna be none the wiser. You're not gonna see that the corner's squashed. You know what I'm saying? It just looks curved. Little bit, like, not the best condition. Bit creased in the corner, but it don't matter. You know why? Because it's the Bows. It's the Bows Ricky Rose. What's that, nine tracks? Ooh, they did me dirty. They did me dirty on this one. Maybe I didn't read the listing, but it's only one record. It's only, they only got one disc. This is missing a disc. Where's the other disc? It's only got one disc, and I don't see a certificate of authenticity in this bitch. I'm a bit sussed out on this one. This might be the first and only disappointment. I'm not disappointed. Maybe I didn't read the description properly. Let me, I'm, I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna double check that I didn't miss that, that maybe I was supposed to get the whole shit looking proper. Oh wait, shit, no, I shit you not. Certificate, bang, in the bag. In the bag like context. So, you know what I'm saying? Ain't so bad. It's just missing the LP. It's got some creases in it. It's, it's missing one of the discs. It's got some creases on it, but you know what? It's the boss, man. Sometimes you get shysted, man. Sometimes you buy a poo the LP and you get shysted, bro. It is what it is. But you know what? That's looking lit. I'm gonna get that framed. That's gonna be looking fire. People, this is the last item, okay? This is the last item. And this is also the least hip hop related item, right? So if you're a hip hop head and you're only here for the hip hop memorabilia, check out now, you can leave. Look, it is what it is. But if you like YouTube, okay? This next item is about to be straight flames, okay? And it kind of relates to hip hop a little bit. Whatever, I'm open it. Okay, okay, a little baggy for the boys. It's a sealed bag. It's a sealed bag. It's a bag within a box, people. Okay, 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 okay. This is a Mazza, look at this, right? For all my YouTube people, Nelk boys, shout my Nelk boys, shout my Steve will do it, all my YouTube gang. It's a signed Nelk boys, full send hockey jersey people, and it's signed by the gang them. It's signed by your boy Steve Will Do It, 6 9 homie. It's signed by Jesse, formerly of Nelk fame, currently of behind the scenes whatever, and of course our boy Kyle. That is crazy, bro. The Nelk boys aren't hip hop, but fuck it. Steve Will Do It is hanging out with 6 9 every week, and you know what? I just admire these motherfuckers, okay? I admire the Nelk boys. I admire other YouTubers that are doing it big. I admire Steve Will Do It. I don't know how that guy smokes so many fucking darts, but it's lit. So you know what? Had to put that up. This one's YouTube inspiration, okay? This one isn't like rap clout. This one's YouTube inspiration for me to just look at those that are killing it at YouTube and just be like, shit, man, that's what timing I need to be on. So that is lit, bro. The sign, no, boys, what? 
Are you mad? I might have to put it on, you know. Come with a certificate and everything, bro. It's legit. It's certified. It's certified. I might have to throw that on, you know. Oi. This is like some XL shit. Look at that. How am I looking? How am I coming? Gang, I need to shotgun a Corona in this shit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's all the stuff, okay? Guys, I'm absolutely gassed. That was crazy. I actually can't believe some of this shit is in my house. Bro, the Holy Grail, people. I got the Holy Grail. It's mad. And, you know, it was only made possible by you guys supporting me. I just can't believe that I'm in this position where I can get these items. I can't believe that I'm in a position where... I just can't believe it, okay? So I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'm going to take all of these items. I'm going to do some research. I'm going to go through the process. It's going to be boring, so I won't show it to you. But I'm going to get them all fresh. I'm gonna get them all turned into really like beautiful collectible items that I'm gonna hang up in the studio in the Trap Law Museum and you are gonna see it first you are gonna hear about it first you are the people that made this possible so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I'm fucking gassed all of this stuff is absolute fire shout out to you shout out to the patrons and shout out to me for the shit being fire but for real man ugh. This is mad. This is mad. Thank you so much. Like, bro, doing YouTube, doing this shit. Like, this shit's made my dreams come true. You guys have made my dreams come true. So it's so lit. I can't wait to show you how, how I get all this stuff set up. I'm waffling on now. But I just want to say thank you. Appreciate you watching. Shout out everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I just can't wait to show you the next level of all this stuff. So it's lit. Thank you for watching. I'm gassed. I'm so gassed. Anyway, see you in the next one. Peace. All right, gang, so we've got the last two items that have arrived in the post. I'm gonna crack them open now and it's gonna be crazy. I'm, s what? okay, whatever, let's get to it. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling, baby. Okay, this I believe, I believe, this is the poo shiesty, turd shiesty autograph photo of him wearing the shirt that he scammed me for. Okay, so this is gonna be crew. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, it's big brrr. Okay, it's big brrr. That's how we're moving, okay? It's big brrr. That's lit. He's looking clean. I gotta say, he's looking clean. Got the certification number on there, all that good stuff. He signed it, brrr, you get me? I'm gonna frame this. Hell, I'm, I might even give that away to a fan or, or some shit, I don't know. I feel like that'd just be funny. Interesting, so there's that. Now we come to the Piesta Le, Le Resistance. You get me? You smell, you smell me, okay? You smell me. This one, is crazy, okay? I've been waiting for this for years, okay? They stung me on 150 pounds tax getting this into the country, but I do not care, because I, I believe this item to be the GTA 4 key to the city. The illustrious, the rare, the special. Oh, the holy grail, people. I've wanted this for years. I hope this is real. I hope this isn't fake. I hope I haven't been scammed or finessed. Okay, okay. Smells like money. Okay, it's just a little black, like, velvet box. You probably can't even see shit, but... Oh, my lord. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It fell out the box. <laughs> shit fell out the box. Had to put the stick in the box. So this is it. Jesus. Bro, I waited my whole life for this, bro. This is the original GTA 4 key to the city. It's a bit bent, if you ask me, but it's fire. Look at that flames. Look at that flames. Look at that key to the city. Rockstar Games out here. We're booming, baby. I can't believe it. I got the Rockstar key to the city, man. This is nuts. It sits freshly, crisply in the box. I've got to find a way of displaying this key somehow. It's the original, man. This is the OG. You got the original box, Rockstar imprinted on it. You got Rockstar. There's a Rockstar logo in here. This is mad. There you go, you can see that. I wanted this my whole life. This is crazy. This is a big milestone for me, man. The fact that I've got this, the fact that this turned up, the fact that this is here right now in the flesh, it's crazy. It's honestly wild. I can't believe it. It's a dream come true, made possible by you guys, and fuck me. Just fuck me, this is nuts, okay? So I've got all the stuff here. I'm gonna speak to a framer about getting it framed. I'll do a follow-up video about getting everything done, displayed, I'll put some stuff behind me. It's gonna be lit, so look out for that. I'm gassed. Much, much, much later. I'm back and it's it's been months since the last thing that I recorded relating to this project. I'd actually forgotten about it. A lot of things went down. A couple of strange things, to be honest with you. A couple of unexpected, strange things relating to this project went down. And uh, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about it, okay? So it's been several months since I purchased several rare hip hop items. You just saw everything that just happened. I wasn't there. I've, it's months has gone, but whatever. Okay, so in the time in between I bought all of those things and getting them, okay, I had emailed a whole 
whole bunch of local companies that that supposedly, allegedly, according to their websites, specialize in framing, you know, luxury, memorabilia, rare sports memorabilia. Not one of those fuckers replied to me. Scratch that. One did reply to me saying, oh, we need more details. Can you measure every single item that you want framed? I did that. It took me quite a while. Fuckers never replied to me once. So at a certain point, I, I kind of gave up on this project a little bit. I was a little bit confused. Why did no one want to frame my stuff? I had good cash money. You know what I mean? I had cash money ready in the bank. Thank you to my patrons for making that possible. I was ready to pay to have all of this stuff framed. They didn't come through. So your boy spent weekends just here and there getting frames, framing these items, my god darn self. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how they came out. So let me just give you a quick rundown of some of the stuff that I've had framed. I've got some of it that I can physically show you. Some of it's up on the wall behind me. You can actually probably see. I'll take them off the wall and show you individually. But like that's the signed college dropout record. Pretty swaggy. That's the signed Rick Ross Port of Miami record. You also may notice in the time since I did the first parts of this video, I've got a lovely selection of neon signs, which I can actually show you in more detail when I get on, when I get on the tripod, off the tripod. I don't know, whatever Steve will do it says. But let me just show you some of the stuff that I've got, because I think it's pretty damn cool. So here we've got the signed Pooh Shiesty 1017 framed picture. And I've got to say, brr, this one's pretty nice. I'm pretty gassed at how this turned out. I think this looks really cool. Young Shiesty up in the building. You know what I mean? He's just looking fresh. I think this is a sweet little framed pick, frankly. So, uh, you know, I feel like that was a dub. Next up, we've got Fooly, big, big, big six. Your man Fulio, okay, out here. When I see you, Mr. When I see you himself. He's signed it here. Look, he's even signed it with a little six at the end. That last, oh, is actually a six. I thought that was pretty damn cool as well. This one's looking pretty amazing. He is in front of the Melvin Park sign. He is on the op block. Imagine a rapper signing a picture of them on the op block. That's what I got right here. This one's a beast, okay? This is the signed Takeshi69 blood picture. This is him as a blood in his blood days, and it's signed Takeshi69. It's signed by the boy. I'm pipes by this one. I mean, seriously, like, I, I just, I'm, I'm fanboy over this shit. I think this one looks pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I gotta say, what I'd originally hoped is that I would get these framed and it would sort of be like the picture on like a blackboard with like the certificate of authenticity like below it, and maybe like a plaque saying like, you know, signed by Takeshi69 or some shit. Obviously the framers didn't come through so I've just done them myself and like in most cases I've, I've just stuck the certificate on the back but it would have been way cooler to have it like properly nicely framed with the certificate under it but it is what it is and it still looks damn cool to be honest with you I'm, I'm hyped so this next one this is probably the rarest and most iconic piece this people this ladies and gentlemen this is the signed back in blood poster signed by both Lil Dirk with the three the 300 as well the Lil Dirk 300 out here keeping it 300 and big brother himself Poosh, Mr. Poosh Iesty, Mr. Turk Iesty. it's incredible this this is crazy. I'm just I'm like, can you can you believe I got this? So this next item I'm very proud of. It's not really a hip hop related item. I can't even remember if I spoke about it when I did the video recording me buying this stuff. I might have mentioned it. If I didn't, let me, I'll quickly quick give you the rundown. If you don't know, back when, <laughs> so lame, this is so nerdy, like the fact that as I'm relaying this information to you, I'm realizing how lame and nerdy this is, but I don't care because this is me. This is your boy. This is straight from the heart. Back when GTA 4 came out, okay, there was a competition that if you could complete the game 100% in the first two weeks, you would be given a key to the city, a physical key, an actual key to the city of Liberty City. Now, your boy completed GTA 4 100% within those two weeks. I didn't get a key, okay? Now we know the Rockstar games are a bunch of fucking assholes, okay? Now we know that they're not to be trusted. They put out whack games. They finesse their fans for money. Is what it is. But at the time, I was putting a lot of trust. Rockstar games was my, my goddamn favorite company at the time. You can imagine I was mortified that I didn't get the key to the city, that I had busted my balls and hustled to complete that game 100% in the allotted time. They didn't send me the key. And for years ever since that happened, I had vowed that one day I will acquire that key. I'd seen many of them for sale on eBay over the years for quite a lot of money. And only now, with the thanks, I've got to say, with, with the only made possible by the support of my patrons, was I able to afford the key. So I purchased the key, and I've got to say, it came in a pretty shit box, frankly. It came in a shit box. It was it was just a crappy little velvet black crappy box. It's somewhere. I don't even, I don't even care about it. It's somewhere. I don't give a Shit. What I decided to do was get a frame with a bit of glass. I printed off my own GTA 4 picture. Fuck the copyright laws. I don't give a shit. I got it printed off myself. It's unofficial merch. And I just nailed a fucking nail through the frame. Literally through the frame. You can you can see it here. See that? That's a health hazard right there. Okay. But I don't care because what it ended up becoming is this absolute beauty. I'll be very careful with this. Oh, come on. Is that not lit? 
It's a bit loose, I'll admit, it's a bit loose. The GTA 4 Key to the City encased in, well, just a cheap box from Amazon and a printed off photograph of Nico Bellic. But I think it's pretty swaggy, frankly. I'm hyped about this one, to be honest with you guys. This is up on the wall just to the side of my desk, just over there. I can see this bitch, it's by my PC. I see this bitch every day. I'm fucking hyped, to be honest. This one's lit. Now I've got to admit, my workmanship isn't the best, and if I slam my office door too hard, the key does fall off of the off of the nail back into the frame. So I, I you know, I've got to keep it zen. I can't get angry and slam my door because I'll, I'll fuck up the key to the city, frankly. So next up is the Bose, Ricky Rose, Ricky Rose, the Bose, the frame port of Miami CD, not CD, vinyl record. This is pretty lit. I've got to say, his signature's a little bit faded. You know, maybe Rick Ross had greasy wing stop fingers when he signed this, and it rubbed off some of the original Sharpie pen. But I don't give a shit. This is looking absolutely fire. I will say that I did kind of low-key get finesse because I'm pretty sure this is a two LP fucking two disc LP. It only came with one disc and it's the second disc, wouldn't you think it? You'd at least hope to have the first disc, but I don't care. This is fire. I'm Traplor Ross and this is Rick Ross. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Ha! <laughs> anyway. This, people, it's the College Dropout original LP signed by Kanye. Once again, the signature leaves a bit to be desired, but I know he just does his thing where it's just like, yay. It does just look like a squiggle, but it does have a certificate of authenticity, so at least someone thinks it's real. I think this is pretty lit. This is a piece of hip-hop history right here. This record is groundbreaking. I know everybody wants to act like they were rolling with Kanye from day one because they just saw his Netflix documentary, but your boy really was rolling with Kanye from day one. I remember when this album first came out, I sent my brother to like a record shop in Brighton to go and fucking buy it for me on CD. I'll never forget, he came back and he said to me, sorry bro, the Kanye West College Dropout album was sold out and I was heartbroken. I was, I was hurt, I was lost, I was sad, and that motherfucker turned around and said, I'm only kidding, here it is. College Dropout. Bang. Fire basically. So this next item, this probably is the best item of the lot. It's probably my favorite item that I own. This is crazy. I'm just so hyped to even own this. I'd always wanted to own this. It's my favorite album of all time. It's a signed copy of Lil Wayne's The Carter 3, okay? It's Mr. Carter, okay? This is crazy. This is the best album ever made, frankly. I've got it signed by the man himself. Young Wheezy, you, you made a masterpiece with this album, and I've got to say, Young Trap Law, if I, if I do say so myself, I, I've made a masterpiece of framing this motherfucker, because this is looking straight fire. And these weren't easy to frame, frankly, guys. You know, I've got to give myself my props. Like Kanye, got to pat myself on the back here. I'm a mother, I'm a, I'm a motherfucking framing genius out here, okay? I might have to just change my shit to frame Law Ross, quit making these deep dive YouTube hip hop videos, and just start framing full time. So if anybody, if you need some shit framed, hold on to your boy, frankly. And in that vein, okay, this might be my favorite item, but let me show you my favorite bit of framing. This framing, this next bit of framing is on fleek. I'll, I'll level with you guys, okay? This next one, I know this isn't for everybody, and ironically, it feels like in the time between me ordering these items and me actually receiving them, these particular guys have received a lot of hate, a lot of flack. Some of it's deserved, some of it's a bit blown out of proportion, but I don't care, because frankly, the frame job that I've done on this piece, I don't care, I don't care if, I mean, I'm trying to think who it could be. I don't care if this is a frame picture of who, uh, whatever, okay? Doesn't matter, because the frame job on this is so impeccable that it, it basically makes up for anything bad or anything subtle suspect that these guys have done. And I frankly, I still I still rock with them. But this people, this is a hockey jersey signed by the, the original Nelk boys. Look at this. Look at this frame job. Forget the item or the significance of it, okay? This is signed by the original Nelk boys, Jesse, Kyle, and motherfucking Steve will do it. I haven't got Salim on there, unfortunately. Now this one, I didn't have this framed, but I did have like the plaque made specifically for this. I got a couple of Polaroid pics of the gang in there, you know what I'm saying? How good, come on, how good is that? I know not everyone likes the Nelk boys, but uh, fucking look at it. Don't play with me. Don't play with my framing skills, gang, okay? I'm a frame god. Now, I'm pretty sure that's everything that I ordered, but I gotta say something really strange happened in the time between me ordering these items and me receiving them. When I was looking at these items, one item that really caught my eye was the signed copy of Lil Baby's, you know, best-selling album, My Turn. I'm a Lil Baby fan. I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest Lil Baby fan, but I'll acknowledge I don't think there's anybody that's really had a bigger impact on the rap game in the past few years. Lil Baby, or Le Bibi, as he's known in France, has really changed the game and cemented himself as one of the most iconic rappers, if not the most iconic rapper of, you know, the last, you know, f I don't know if it's not really a generation, and but certainly the last four or five years of hip-hop. I was interested in that album. It was going to set me back about 600 bucks, and in the end, I decided I wasn't built like that, frankly. I wasn't trying to spend that much money on it, so I didn't order it. And I've got to tell you, people, I was very, very confused when, along with my Pooh Shiesty signed picture, that Lil Baby album was in the box. Or well, it wasn't in the box. It was actually in a completely separate box that was, like, tied together. It was like two packages tied together with a bit of string. It looked like one package, but once you took that string off, and once I opened my Pooh Shiesty signature, it was a separate box 
box, it had someone else's name on it, and I was a little bit confused. Now, for the record, before you call me out for being a Vanessa, my initial thought was that this item was just another part of my order. I'd ordered a bunch of these signatures from all different people. Some places I'd ordered two signatures from the same place. I hadn't really thought about it, so I truly didn't think that I was opening someone else's mail when I opened that second box. When I opened it up and I saw that little baby album, I thought, shit, I must have just ordered that by accident. I must have left that in my basket. It seemed like too much of a coincidence. And I logged onto eBay. I hadn't ordered it. I hadn't ordered the little baby album. I don't know why I had it. In the end, I realised that there must have been a mix-up at the post office or something. They must have tied it together with string, or maybe it's the same seller, or maybe the seller took it somewhere, and then, the, I don't know, the complete coincidence, the post office ended up tying two items from the same signature warehouse together. I don't know. All I knew was that I hadn't paid for this little baby album, and it turned up. And for quite a while, I really debated what to do. I asked, like, a few friends in my life, what, what should I do? To be fair, a lot of people said to me, just keep that shit. Just keep it. It's a double you, that's just the universe wanted you to have that little baby album. And to be, I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you, a big part of me really wanted to just keep that shit for free. It was a £600 signed album that I wanted. I was thinking I was just gonna keep that shit, but it ate me up. It ate me up inside because I thought, I can't show it off, I can't show it to you in this video, I can't put it in the back of my videos or really in my studio because it doesn't really belong to me. This is probably a really bad example, but it's like in, I don't know, World War II when the bad guys stole a bunch of paintings from, you know, those people that were, were getting persecuted. I don't know if I'm allowed to say certain things on YouTube. I don't want to get this video flagged unnecessarily but anyway like a lot of you know artwork that gets stolen and it's sort of out of the system and it's sort of kept in the shadows but it can't ever be sold on or showcased because it's been gotten illicitly now my accidental posting of a little baby album varies very differently to stolen artworks in world war ii but it ate me up inside so in the end i decided to reach out to the guy that was selling that little baby album and just just come clean i said homie i don't know how this happened but i have ended up with your little baby lp and i knew to message you because i was watching this item and the guy replied to me very confused, very unsure what was going on, wasn't sure what to do. And we had a few back and forths and originally I was going to send it back to him, but then also, I'll be honest, a little part of me felt like I maybe was somehow getting scammed, like, oh, he wanted me to like pay the postage, the return postage, and I was like, this thing's worth 600 bucks. If this just miraculously goes missing in the mail, I'm on the hook for 600 bucks. As grateful as I am for the for the patrons for putting me in a position where I can afford nice things like this, I'm not trying to take a $600 L and get finessed if I send this thing back and then suddenly it's, it's gone missing and now I've got to pay for it. So in the end, I ended up agreeing with the guy, look, let me just give you the money that it's worth. I'll buy this off you. I'll give you the money. I'll have a clean conscience. The universe wanted me to have the record. And so, in the end, this ended up being probably one of the best pieces in this collection, frankly. It's got the blue disc vinyl. It looks absolutely fuego. He's actually signed it well. Unlike Kanye's little squiggles, he's actually signed this well. Look, you've got, actually says like, Lil Baby, and that's 4PF. Four pockets full, baby. How lit is that? This thing's fire. The universe wanted me to have this, and I actually am proud that I paid for this. I did the right honest thing, and I could actually show this off to you guys and say, I'm the proud owner of this bitch. I appreciate it. And it's crazy. I don't know. I, I just wanted to do the right thing, and, you know, it made me feel... I mean, I had to pay... The, I did pay the guy for the thing, so it wasn't really like I'd finessed it or got anything free. But like I say, I guess the universe wanted me to have that record, and uh, it's a really cool thing. I, I've got that up in my, uh, in my bathroom downstairs, not in my studio, because I just wanted to showcase it somewhere else in the house because it means a lot to me. And I guess in the process of that going on and ending up getting this record that I didn't really expect to get, doing the right thing and paying for it, it just made me feel really grateful for the position I'm in. And really grateful for you guys, the supporters, the followers, the patrons, for making this possible, putting me in a position where I can get a signed copy of the Cart 3 that I've wanted my entire life just to have in the studio as, a, as an item to hold and to cherish and pass down to the next generation of hip-hop Lil Wheezy fans. All of these things, it's just such a blessing. And I think as a result of that, I really want to give back. So I've decided that it would be really cool if I gave one of these items away back to the patrons that made this possible. So I've got a post over on my Patreon now. If you're a member, all you've got to do is just comment on that post and say why you want it. Maybe you're the biggest Pooh Shiesty fan. Maybe you're the biggest Trap Law fan. You know, you don't have to go crazy and do an essay. Just give me a sentence. Just, you know, why should you have the signed Pooh Shiesty image? I'll let that post run for a few weeks and then I'll pick somebody to have this. I'll mail this out to you and you can have this. It's a piece of hip hop history. It is a genuine signed Pooh Shiesty image. And I'll even sign and send you the t-shirt. I don't know if you remember way back, but when I bought that I was trying to buy the 1017 jersey and they sent me the t-shirt. It's a white one of these t-shirts that he's wearing. I'll, I'll, just go and, I'll just go and get it. 
This one, you remember this? If you're a real OG of Trap More Gang, you will remember this shirt and my displeasure of being sent this shirt instead of the 1017 jersey. Whoever writes the most compelling case as to why they should have this, I'll send you these. I'll sign the jersey. I'll send you the signed poo shiesty thing. That's a pretty lit little sweepstakes, isn't it? That's my way of giving back to the patrons. And what I'll do is I'll give this to the person that makes the most compelling case as to why they have this, why you love shiesty, why you love me. I don't know, whatever. Just, I don't know, say some funny shit. I'll send that out to the person who I think's most deserving. And I'll also, I'll come up with something small, maybe for, for some runners up, people that write other things that I think are fun or interesting or whatever. I just want to use this as an opportunity to give back to the people that made this possible. And as you guys, the viewers and the patrons, specifically in this case, the patrons, because I literally took the Patreon money and spent it on these beautiful artifacts. But I want to give back. And I don't know, maybe if this goes well, this is something we could do regularly in the future. You know, I could curate, I could pick some interesting piece of rap me memorabilia every month and just, you know, give it off to, to one of the one of the patrons who kind of, you know, can make a good case as to why it should be them. I, I think that'd be really fun and cool. So I just want to say thanks again for making this possible. This has been really fun. A lot of these items, maybe they're dumb to somebody that's not as into hip hop as me or just thinks, I don't know, autographs are dumb. I think this shit's really cool. And when I come and sit down in the office and do some work, you know, when I grind it out, doing research on one of these videos that you guys seem to enjoy watching so much, it just makes me feel cool as hell, to be honest. Like having these beautiful hip hop artifacts around me and the studio is becoming the Trap Law Hip Hop Museum at this rate. And I've got to say I'm loving it. And you guys made that possible. So thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Jump on Patreon if you want to win the Pooh Shiesty autograph picture. I'll probably announce the winner in like, I don't know, a month or something. And I'm excited to get that out to you. So thanks again for watching this, guys. Thank you for making this all possible. I'm out. Peace.